One of the common spots that you'll see anglers talk about fishing in the Gulf of Mexico is, is a lot of the pipeline. Um, Florida West Coast anglers fish pipeline numbers. They typically are just a bunch of big rocks, um, rock piles, a little bit more relief than your normal natural bottom in the Gulf of Mexico, but not quite as much as, say, uh, in an artificial reef or a wreck. Uh, it's, it's kind of an, a hybrid where it might be rocks that people dumped offshore. And, and what the pipeline is uh, for an angler, it's um, basically a pipe that starts up in Mississippi, Alabama, and it's bringing natural gas all the way across the Gulf of Mexico to Florida. It's running from Mississippi, Alabama to Florida. It runs uh, into the mouth of Tampa Bay, Port Manatee, and then there's another section that runs up into, I, I believe, Bartow, or, um, and then one in Pinellas County as well. And you'll see if you're in Tampa Bay under the Skyway, you'll see signs saying, hey, don't anchor here. There's a pipeline. And it's just kind of giving people a warning. Hey, you don't want to be pulling this thing up. Natural gas spilling all over the, the bay would not be a good thing. Uh, and you can see the angle where it kind of comes out. It starts west and then it heads west-northwest all the way across. I fish typically out of Manatee County, Anna Maria, so if I'm fishing the pipeline, we'll go to some of the numbers up here, but not so much further out. Um, usually about 140 is as deep as we go. We, we typically try to head a little bit south, get away from some of the boat traffic. Uh, but the pipeline started in, uh, I believe 2001 was when they started constructing it. And along the way, there are mitigation areas. And what the mitigation areas are, are the shutdowns that are placed in case anything ever happens where, hey, we can stop this flow of natural gas. And at those areas, they kind of built up the rock piles. And, and that's what people are looking for mainly when they're fishing the pipeline is, you know, we don't want to fish this underground pipe. It might just be sand over top of it, but the rock piles around the, the mitigation areas where you know, divers can get to, to, to kind of protect the, the natural gas flow. Um, so I've got a little bit of bottom video fishing some of the, you know, the, the well-known mitigation areas. They're all, there's numbers online. If you, if you want to look, I'm not going to pu pu publish them myself, but you can get out and find them. Uh, so this one was in about 110 feet of water, maybe 115 a big, big rock pile. So I sent a chum bag down with the GoPro. Um, and on the drop, you can see the chum kind of flowing out. And a lot of amberjack. Not too big. A lot of little AJs. Um, still fun, though. And so as it's going down, you can see the AJs kind of swimming down with the GoPro, wondering what's going on. Why is all this food, you know, dispensing out of here? Um, big mango is just off in the corner, up in, up in the water column. And so as it's getting down to the bottom, you'll start to see the big rock piles and why, you know, a lot of these fish are, are living in these mitigation areas. Um, so you can start to see the dark outline here. Let me just speed it up slightly. Lots and lots of amberjack. Okay, so here is some rocks. Big rock pile, big rock pile. Um, a lot of growth. You know, if this was started in 2001, 2002, it's had a lot of time to mature in 15 years, 16 years. So a lot of this stuff has, you know, taken over and, and got the, the, the stuff that fish like on it. So some big mangrove snapper. Right there, some grunts, um, lionfish as well. A lot of lionfish, unfortunately, now have moved on to some of this this bigger structure out there. Um, so just kind of kind of breeze through this, and so you can see this is kind of what the the natural bottom is is turning into around you know what was dumped from limestone rocks and whatnot around these mitigation areas. Uh, cool looking reef fish. So the chum chum is going, you know, we were hoping to kind of get a, a good mangrove snapper bite going, but uh, middle of the day, that deep, it can be tough sometimes. So lots of, lots of grunts, some mangrove snapper. Um, the amberjack were really kind of aggressive this day, made fishing live bait a little tougher, which is what 
you know, fishing this deep, I think mangroves prefer is, is the live bait, especially in the daytime. So these amberjack were driving us a little crazy, but uh, like I said, still pr still pretty fun. Um, big lane snapper, some mangrove snapper, some scamp grouper. There's a lot of fish that live on the on the pipeline in the area around it. The mangrove snapper, typically, if you're going to catch them, you're fishing up in the water column, you know, dropping jig heads, uh, knocker rigs, that type of thing. When the grouper are on these spots, getting straight down on the bottom, um, you might have some time, some some problems getting them out of the rocks at times, which is to be, you know, understood. Go for a little bit more. Um, that's this is when the mangoes kind of got in the in the chum a little bit. See so the mangoes. You know now they're starting to to turn on a little bit, but we just couldn't quite get to them. The amberjack were we're driving us a little crazy. Scamp grouper as well. I think we caught a couple, a couple of nice fish this day. Um, some red grouper off the the rocks as well. So that's what the the pipeline is. You're you're fishing a lot of snapper on these in the you know the cooler months. You might get some some grouper. But the, the pipeline in deeper water, I, I believe, is, is great mangrove snapper territory, scamp grouper. Um, and then I've got, uh, let's see, just brace through this. Yep, pretty much all the same. This is a number, a little shallower, I believe, in about 50 feet. Um, my GoPro battery ended up dying at the end of this, but what you'll see, um, this is a number I'm sure a lot of people have it's online a lot of fish this is clean water spring day but same type of thing nice big rock piles so very snapper friendly habitat um there's a mango red grouper gopro kind of gets right in the rocks there which is which is cool um so mango mango trigger fish trigger fish spot tails another trigger fish so very friendly reef fish population around the, the, the pipeline areas And the GoPro battery is about to die, but the main thing to take away is a yellowtail snapper. You can see the nice bright yellowtail. Main thing to take away is these pipeline areas are, are kind of like artificial reefs that are lesser known. Um, if you're looking for you know, your own pipeline numbers, which I think is the best way to do it, just to find your own, you might just, you know, everybody's got their mitigation zones. There's some popular, you know, public numbers online is go between them. So you might have a number here. You might have a number here. Just kind of zigzag along and look for your own private um, pipeline numbers. You might find some natural bottom in the same areas. But that'll be the better way to kind of catch fish. So that's the pipeline in the Gulf of Mexico. If you see people talking about it, kind of what it is and, and what can you can expect to catch on it. So thanks.